Gue Sobis Cool Fans, balik gue Ricky Padilla Dan hari ini gue kembali ada game Hales nih Dari pertanyaan IBS Krimis 2023 Antara Plita J. Bakri melawan Bumi Warnio Basketball Gue masih senang masih Akhirnya gue bisa nonton Dominic Sutter Ini satu pemain asing yang gue penasaran banget juga Gue tunggu-tunggu di IBL Karena dia udah bermain di beberapa liga top Eropa And of course dia juga merupakan NBA G League Champion tahun 2015 Bersama Santa Cruz Warriors Dan gue, gue liat main dia udah siap banget sih Badannya udah lean dan juga cut banget Dan dia juga dibilang dia super excited untuk start the season I think Pita Jaya got a good one Bersama si Dominic Sutton ini And of course main Arigi Man, this guy man I think MVP season hopefully for Arigi Continues untuk improve setiap harinya Bersama Pita Jaya Dan dari Bumi Borneo Basketball Kemarin ini gue seneng banget sih Kayak Cam Wrightley ini udah lumayan lebih berani Sekarang mainnya udah lebih agresif lagi Main juga dapat dua dang melawan Pita Jaya Bakri And of course gue harapkan Sultan sih Gue harapkan Sultan akan dapat menit yang banyak Di rookie seasonnya bersama Bumi Borneo karena, man, this guy keeps surprising me though. Walaupun main menitnya gak terlalu banyak Dan juga poinnya gak terlalu banyak Tapi main pas dia dapat menit Dia buktiin sih Kalau dia bisa compete with everybody else So, tanpa panjang lebar guys Kalau untuk nonton full highlights Kalian bisa join jadi members Kalian untuk support channel ini Agar channel ini bisa terus meliput Basket Indonesia Dan guys, jangan lupa pastikan untuk like Dan untuk comment And enjoy the highlights guys Let's go
we are here with Peter Jaya, Dominic Sarin. Dom, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right, man. I can't complain. <laughs> Today, I know it's a little bit slow start from your team, but what, what did you like, though? from your team to the, from the scrimmage today? Uh, I think the second half, we kind of turned it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think we locked in a little bit and you know knew that we can kind of break the game open. Uh, I think we locked in and focused a little bit more. Um, but we, we have tendencies to do that when we know we can open games up. But you know, we trying to clean that up. Uh, I think yesterday we had a, we had a, you know, a, a harder practice. And we kind of, you know, a little fatigue a little bit, I think, the first that first half, but uh, we end up cleaning it up a little bit. I mean, like, you got a lot of young players on your team, and you're a vet. You're a vet, you know, Pross is a vet. But I see you had a lot of fun with Yesaya on the bench. Does this guys keep you feeling young? <laughs> Man, yeah, they do. Some, sometimes I forget I'm the, the old head on the team, you know what I mean? But, uh, man, it's, it's a good group of young guys, man. They compete. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm happy to be a part of, you know, a team with, you know, some good locals and, you know, that way I can just come in and, and do my part and, and see what it takes us. You've been here for like a couple of weeks now. It's been a month to be exact. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what do you see from the potential of the team, though? Uh, man, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, I was following when they was in the championship and mm -hmm. to see them win the championship, you know, as a local, in my mind, I already knew. You know, we had something special going on. Um, and I just tried to come in and just implement, you know, my game in, into the into the system and continue to help the team build. And we plan for, you know, another championship. I mean, like you, you came in with a big resume. You know, people <laughs> have high expectation of you. You were G League champion. You play in the Euro League. You know, big European clubs. You know, what do you think about the big expectation from the fans, though? Um. So, I mean, man, I've, I've been all around the world, so, you know, my thing is to come in and just help the young guys, mentor them, um, give them that confidence, and, and just do, you know, my part. Uh, I'm not really coming in to, you know, score 30, 40, 50 points, you know what I mean? Being an older guy now, them days is over with. But um, I am ready to come in and, you know, and, and dominate when I can and, you know, when, when it's needed um, throughout the course of the game. So, uh, hopefully, I can, you know, get the fans a show. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, they, they be here to cheer us on. But don't get it wrong, though. You can still drop 40, right? <laughs> that take up too much energy now. I'm 36. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a lot That's a lot of energy. But if it, if it need be, yeah. I can try. You yeah. know what I mean? But that's just never been my game. You know, I'm a, I'm a 20 and 15 type of guy. Uh, anything outside of that is I'm, I'm having an out-of-body experience if I'm getting 30, 40, 50. So, um, but a 20 and 15 guy, that's me. You know what I mean? I, I can I can do that in my sleep. So uh, that's what I'm prepared to do when, when it's called, when it's needed. Um, like I said, we got a good group of young guys, so it's going to be games where I don't have that. I might have 10 and 9 and 10 and 10, and we win by 20. So whatever is needed for me, man, that's what I'm here to do. I mean, talking about the young guys today, Agung step up. Arigi is so nice, oh, man. man. Ricky, you know? Ricky playing, man. Ricky, <laughs> and Ricky yes, and I also, man. So what yeah. do you think about these young players, man? Man, they doing what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been doing, you know, whatever they've been doing before I got here. Like I said, they, they the defending champs. Mm -hmm. um, I just try to come in and, and implement, you know, my game in, into the system. And, you know, I'm still learning mm -hmm. um, their game and what they like to do and what they don't like to do. So, you know, this is what you know, preseason and uh, preseason games are for. So, uh, like I said, I'm still learning. They still learning. We all learning, and we just trying to get better every day. And so far, how is it like working with Coach Joffetich? Oh, man, cool, man. He, he, I think he understands me. Um, I think he understands my game and, and what I'm bringing to the table. Um, you know, obviously, the veteranship and, you know, my leadership. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to you know, talk when I can a little bit, be a little bit more vocal, uh, help the young guys be a little bit more vocal, and get them that confidence, man, when it's time. You know, play basketball, stop turning down shots. Like, same shots we shoot in practice in the game, like, shoot those shots, nobody's gonna get mad. I get upset when y'all don't shoot the basketball, open shots. That makes me mad, but outside of that, man, play. Like, you know, and I think, like I said, they still learning and still understanding coach philosophy. So, I think once season get here, we get in stride, we get in form, we gonna be a tough matchup. So the season's only three weeks left. Yeah. How excited are you to finally play a real game? <laughs> Man, I'd be glad when they get here. Uh, I'm in I'm in basketball form. Mm -hmm. All these practices and scrimmages, <laughs> it's like. But you know, I get it. I understand. Um, we we building a team camaraderie. Man, the young guys. 
Um, they enjoying it, man. I think, you know, they, you know, like what I bring to the team. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, man, I just give them that confidence and I just give them that extra push to, to continue to keep getting better each and every day. And, and they doing it. Down, stay healthy and good luck for the season, man. man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir.